Y'all, imagine moving into a neighborhood and receiving the most unwelcoming message. Let me tell you, because this letter left this single mom just disheartened. It gave her rules as if she was so ignorant that she didn't know how to live like a good neighbor, okay? We will call Protective Services 911-311, Section 8, if needed. We will not play any games with you on that. Remember that, please. The letter includes a list of rules for the neighborhood, ranging from the basic, like trash removal, to telling her she wasn't allowed to interact with her neighbors. Number seven, your neighbors want to be left alone. They are not your friends or your family. Now, a portion of what I just read to you was sent to this single mom, Anisha Nixon. Anisha recently moved to the southwest side of Grand Rapids, Michigan. She said that she had heard only good things about it. She's a single mom. You guys, she's wanting to provide a good environment for her child as any parent would. This was not the most welcoming that I've ever seen, <laughs> like for real. And she's disheartened. She didn't get mad. She didn't get upset. She just got kind of disheartened, kind of sad about it, right? Now, where she lives is called the John Ball area. And the she thought initially that this was sent to her by the Neighborhood Association. But they said, oh, no, bookie book. We did not send you this letter. And they are going to share that letter with the appropriate agency to determine where it came from. They're also going to... Um, reach out to her, you know, to let her know that this is not what the neighborhood is about. I'm going to play the video for you all. I hope the algorithm does its thing and that someone in her neighborhood and that John Ball area neighborhood will be actually welcoming to her. Let her know that she and her child are welcome, okay? Because having a good neighbor can only add value to your neighborhood, especially when you have a child, y'all. She doesn't want to isolate her child from the neighbors. She wants to be able to get along and form a community and a bond. So leave me your thoughts, you all. Please repost and share. And I'm going to um, show you the video because I really want you to see how nice this is, how nice she is, and how this kind of really did hurt her. Everyone is not made of steel, y'all. Nixon was excited to move to the southwest side of Grand Rapids. I never really stayed on the west side before, but like I kind of always heard like good things. One day after she officially moved in, a letter was in her mailbox. I just thought it was like a, a normal like welcoming letter or from one of my neighbors. But as she began to read, it said, we will call Protective Services 911-311 Section 8 if needed. We will not play ga any games with you on that. Remember that, please. The initial excitement that Nixon had to move here to the southwest side quickly fading the further she reads into the letter. My heart is dropped. A list of rules for the neighborhood, ranging from the basic, like trash removal, to telling her she wasn't allowed to interact with her neighbors. Number seven, your neighbors want to be left alone. They are not your friends or your family. Just for me not to even have the opportunity or to be told that I can't do that. That's what kind of hurt it a lot. Multiple times, threats to call police or even child protective services. The police will be called ASAP. Life is too short. I was really offended by that part also. Initially, Nixon thought it came from the Neighborhood Association because the envelope was labeled John Ball Area Neighbors. I reached out to that organization, which tells me it did not send the letter and that it does not condone what it says. Nixon says as a single black mom, she feels unfairly stereotyped. The way I look, that can be the only thing I was judged by. But is encouraged by the positive feedback she's received after posting the letter to social media. My first initial thought was to run, to go, to leave. All the support I've received kind of like makes me want to stay now. And the excitement of introducing her true self to the southwest side is starting to return. Come meet me and actually get to know the person I actually am. In Grand Rapids, Nate Belt, 